Black body radiation. A black body, a perfect black body is a metal. It is a metal sphere. So inside which a lamp black. So this is a lamp black. So it is coated with lamp black. Lamp black means if you burn the uh, lamp in the upside, if you keep our hand on the flame of the lamp, what will happen? We are able to see the some black color on our hands. So that is a lamp black. So the lamp black is coated on inner surface of the metal sphere. When the heat, incident heat radiation falls on this lamp black, so this container is called as a black body. This container is called as a black body. There is a small projection at the center. So a metal sphere. So inside it which a lamp black is coated. There is a small projection. That setup is called as a black body. When the heat radiation is incident on this lamp black, what will happen in this black body? There will be a multiple reflection will take place. All the heat radiations will be absorbed. So that type of uh, material is called the type is called as a black body so i will define black body a black body is a one which neither reflects or transmits but absorbs the whole of the heat radiation incident on it it absorbs all the heat radiations incident on it the type of the body is called as a black body if you keep this black body if all the radiations are absorbed then you keep this black body in a constant temperature bath this is a constant temperature bath what will happen the whatever the heat radiations absorbed everything will be emitted so that is a black body i can recollect that a black body is a one which neither reflect or transmit nor transmit but absorbs whole radiations incident on it it will not reflect it will not transmit it will absorb all the heat radiation incident on it when it is kept in a constant temperature bath it will emit all the heat radiations incident on it the wavelength range of the emitted radiation is independent of material of the body but depends only on the temperature of the black body so the emitted radiation will depends only on the temperature of the black body so now we can see that stephens boltzmann's on law so what is the stephens boltzmann's law this law states that the total heat energy this is of total heat energy e the total heat energy emitted by a perfect black body per second per unit area is directly proportional to fourth power of the absolute temperature of its surface so the total energy heat energy is directly proportional to fourth power of the absolute temperature at the surface of the black body provided the <coughs> time is 1 second and the area is 1 unit area so this is called as a stephen boltzmann constant e is directly proportional to t power 4 that constant is called as a stephen boltzmann constant that value is 5.67 into 10 power minus 8 joule per second m power minus 2 t power minus 4 in black body radiation the black body is at this one in black body radiation whenever you are studying we have to st learn about the stephen boltzmann law and as well as the wain's displacement law so i will explain what is wain's displacement law so wain's displacement law states that the wavelength this is the wavelength so the wavelength corresponding to which energy emitted by a black body is maximum that means maximum wavelength is the inversely proportional to absolute temperature so the maximum wavelength emitted by the black body is inversely proportional to absolute temperature so the t comes here this is a constant this b is called as a wain's constant the value is 2.9 to 10 power minus 3 meter kelvin so this wain's displacement law can be used to estimate the surface temperature of moon sun and our stars everything so how is that very simple the light from the moon shows a maximum intensity at lambda is equal to 14 micrometer by applying the wain's displacement law so the lambda value is 14 micro 
meter micro means 10 power minus 6 meter 14 into 10 power minus 6 meter so the lambda values this one applied by substituting this b value so b divided by lambda m the t can be determined so the t is surface temperature of the moon will be around 200 kelvin similarly we can calculate the solar radiation surface of the sun can be calculated temperature can be calculated as 6060 kelvin because the maximum radiation emitted by the sun is wavelength is around 4753 armstrong so this is a wavelength a maximum wavelength emitted by the sun so by using that value we can calculate the temperature of the surface surface temperature that means outer temperature of the sun not a core temperature of the sun that value is around 6000 kelvin so black body radiation what is a perfect black body radiation stephen boltzmann law and veins displacement law